You guys ever heard of PyCon? It's this convention where people go and eat pie. I wish that's what it was. It's actually a convention for Python developers, uh, most of whom uh, get, they kind of start off in the male modeling industry and then they kind of just make the natural segue into Python development. So it's a lot of men. Uh, in fact, I think this year was the first year that the convention had 20% women. That was like, wow, 20% women. One out of five people attending is a woman this year. That's a record. So it's a very sausage-festy industry, Python developers. I'm here to talk about an incident that occurred on March 17th. Uh, these two lovely bearded gentlemen were sitting around making jokes with one another, nerdy jokes. These jokes were about forking repos in a sexual way and big dongles. Forking repos and big dongles? That's PG shit, okay? It's... It's dirty in the cleanest way possible. It's like a cutesy sort of dirtiness. Now, 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
She's not just publicly shaming two guys who didn't do anything wrong. She's publicly shaming two guys who didn't do anything wrong in the name of all women. I was going to let it go. It had been such a long week, a long month. I'd been on the road since mid-February, attending and speaking at conferences. PyCon was my fifth and final conference before heading home. I know it's important to pick my battles. I know I don't have to be a hero in every situation. Stop! She just outright called herself a hero. A hero for standing up to two guys who made a dongle joke. What made her decide to take this courageous stand for justice? Well... I saw a photo on main stage of a little girl who had been in the Young Coders workshop. I realized I had to do something or she would never have the chance to learn and love programming because the ass clowns behind me would make it impossible for her to do so. Really? That's what you're going with? You did it for the children? Because little girls somehow cannot enter, enter the technological industry because men make dick jokes? If girls can't enter an industry where men make dick jokes, then women ha would have no inroads into any industry. Because regardless of socioeconomic status or race or ideology or anything else, men are going to make dick jokes. It's just gonna happen. So it doesn't make any sense on that level, but the level on which it really makes no sense is the fact that you made a fucking dick joke on your Twitter just a few days before. How does this work in your mind? It, why is it okay for you to make dick jokes on your Twitter, but it's not okay for these two guys to make a dick joke privately between themselves? Huh? I don't understand that. I mean, are you just saying that when you make a dick joke, it, it's, it should be understood as just a joke because you're a woman and you're a feminist and people should understand where you're coming from. But if these evil bearded males make a dick joke, obviously it's because they're rapists who are evil and have no thoughts in their heads other than how can we better oppress women in the workplace? How can we make it impossible for females to enter these professions? I know we'll make cutesy dick jokes that will scare them all away. No one should have to live in fear that the next joke they tell might cost them their livelihood. No one should have to censor themselves 24-7 because people like Adria Richards have been given this de facto Grand Inquisitor status because they know that they have the power to get rid of anything they don't like simply by pointing at it and saying, I'm offended! What about those of us who are offended that our world is being taken over by overly sensitive crybabies who exhibit extremely hypocritical behavior and treat us all like children? What about those of us who are offended by people who presume to dictate what we're allowed to joke about? What about those of us who are offended by how bland life has become thanks to all these self-appointed thought police running around making a big show of their every indignation? I mean, let's face it, if you're offended by jokes about big dongles, then you're either mentally insane or mentally retarded. I'm TJ Kirk, also known as the Amazing Atheist. Peace the fuck out. If you enjoy my videos, check out my book, Neck Beard Uprising. Save 10% off the personalized edition with coupon code NECKBEARD10.